A big God bless you to you as you listen once again to this audio. I trust that the Lord will minister to your heart and to your life and that you'll never be the same again. Today I'm sharing on the five benefits of the Word of God. The five benefits of the Word of God. One of the most powerful weapons that God has given to you is the weapon of the Word of God. The Bible describes the Word of God in many various ways as a powerful tool that God has given. The Word of God is living, it is powerful, and it is active. According to Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12, the Bible says, For the Word of God is alive and it is active. It is sharper than any double-edged sword. In other words, the Word of God is a living thing, it's a powerful thing, it's an active thing, and you need to understand that there is power always in the Word of God. The Word of God accomplishes things that no other force here on the earth can ever accomplish. There are things that only the Word of God can do that nothing else can ever do here on the earth. And I'll give you about five benefits of the Word of God today, and I trust that you'll be blessed by this. Number one, the Word of God brings sanctification. When you look at the Word of God in the book of John chapter 17 and verse 17, Jesus says, sanctify them by the truth. Your Word is truth. To sanctify means to make holy or to make free from sin. One of the things that the Word of God can do in your life and in your heart is to sanctify you. Your life becomes better and better. You become more pure as you look into the Word of God. Nothing cleanses a man like the Word of God. Nothing makes you holy like the Word of God. Nothing ever washes away things and stuff that are not right in your life like the Word of God. As you partake the Word of God, you will feel the power of sanctification coming upon your life, the cleansing effect of the Word of God coming upon your life. And the number one benefit of the Word of God, therefore, is sanctification. Secondly, the Word of God brings faith. Nothing builds faith in a man like the Word of God. As you partake of the Word of God, as you hear the Word of God, faith is built in you. The Bible says, so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. So then faith comes by hearing and hearing through the Word of God. When you hear the Word of God, when you partake of the Word of God, faith is going to be built inside you. And one of the things that you need in life is faith. Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 that without faith it is impossible to please God and one of the things that you need to please God is faith and the only way you can access faith and you can have more faith in your life is when you then begin to hear the word of God faith comes to you you grow in your faith you believe God for bigger things and you begin to go to a higher level number three point is that the word of God brings enlightened man Bible says in Psalm chapter 119 and verse 105 that your word, O God, is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. The word of God brings light. This means that God opens up your mind, your understanding through the word of God and there are things that are revealed to you by the word of God. And so as you continue in the word of God, there's light that comes to you, there's revelation that comes to you, there's understanding that comes to you and there's also wisdom that God begins to impart upon you as you partake of the word of God. And so it is important to know that there is light that comes only by the word of God. Number four, the word of God also brings liberty. In John chapter 8, verse 31 to 32, Jesus says, If you continue in my word, then you are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. There is liberty that only comes by the word of God. Nothing brings more freedom to a person. Nothing brings more liberty to a person like the word of God. Men are looking for freedom from all sources and from many things. They are trying to get independent. They are trying to get freedom from this source and that source. But you can never find freedom and liberty outside the word of God. The only way you can be free and truly free is when you continue in the word of God. There are strong words that bind people mental strongholds, depression and burdens and issues and stuff that affect many people and the only remedy to this is the word of God. And so as you continue in the word of God, as you continue hearing the word, one of the things that begins to happen is that the truth will make you free and there's liberty that comes to your life, to your heart, to your mind and every part of you becomes liberated as you look at the word of God. Lastly, the word of God gives hope. If you want hope in life, the only way you can have hope is when you continue in the word of God. Psalm 119 verse 49, remember your word to your servant in which you have made me hope. 
when you get into the word of god there is hope that comes from you nothing brings more hope to a man like the word of god whatever was written in the former days was written for instruction paul says that through endurance and through encouragement of the scriptures we might have hope romans chapter 15 and verse 4 i want to encourage you to stay in the word i want to encourage you to live in the word i want to encourage you to continue to focus on the word is the word as much as you can continue in the light of the word of God and the word of God is going to change you. I tell you, anyone who prioritizes the word of God, who listens to the word of God, who feeds on the word of God, the word of God has got powerful effects upon your life. So God bless you today as I conclude. I just wanted to encourage you to say, look, remain in the word of God, remain in the things of God through his word and the word of God is, is able to build you up and take you to higher levels in life. God bless you so much. Maintain your path in the word. Maintain your walk in the word. Whatever you do, stay in the word. God will bless you and God will multiply you. Thank you very much.